What's going on dudes? Alright, so check this out. I'm gonna be doing an experiment and I didn't have all of the cool materials to gather so I'm gonna be using it in super ghetto mode style. So first thing I need is a container. My container is super dirty so I'm gonna put a little piece of paper inside there. And I'm going to need some batteries. How do I, how do I show you? There. Batteries. And that would be my 10 objects that I don't necessarily know the weight to. And the last thing I'm going to need is a scale. And I don't have a scale. Oh, I can find a scale. Wait a second. There we go. We got a scale, which is in the form of a fax machine, I know. And it, technically, it's not one ounce that we're talking about right now. Um, but I think the scale will work. Like I said, super ghetto mode. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the container on. And apparently, the container is 1.4 ounces. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on each, oh wait a second, figure it out, I think I got to take it off each time. Alright, so now I'm going to put on this thing right here, with one battery inside, 1.8 ounces, let's take it off. Okay, now we're going to go, two batteries inside, 2.3 ounces show you over here. Three batteries. Alright, 2.6. 3.0. That's five batteries. Here's six batteries. There we go. We're on a roll here. Here's seven batteries. Okay, record that sucker down. Alright, here's eight batteries. And nine batteries. Let's see. And ten batteries. Hey, let's do fifteen just for the of it. Alright, here's 11. Here's 12. Here's 13. Here's 14. And 15. How many more batteries do I got? Oh, I got, I got five more. Why don't we just round it off up to a nice even number of 20? All right, let's do it. Here's 16. Here's 17. And 18. 19 batteries. 19. And 20. 20 batteries. There we go. Alright folks, so check this out. What I want you to do is use this and make a scatter plot. Um, where scatter plot where it's basically a weight weight versus the number of the things inside the container. And then I want you to draw the line that kind of connects all of these, but it doesn't need to necessarily connect each of these lines, it just needs to be the line that kind of fits the best of all of these data points. What's the domain of my um, experiment? What's the range of my experiment and why was that? And is the relationship between the total weight and the number of batteries a proportional relationship? And is this relationship a function? Alright, so there's your experiment for today. Have fun.